Hey guys, how's it going? It is S2G and welcome to episode number 16 of the Bournemouth career mode series. In today's episode, we're going to get started off with season 2 with Bournemouth. It's going to be freaking insane. If you guys are excited, go ahead and drop a like on this video. 50 likes would be awesome. Also, subscribe if you're new around here. So let's get into today's episode. So the first thing we'll do is have a look at the squad and decide which positions we need to strengthen. So looking at my first team, I'm pretty happy with the first team. I think it's a very good team that can obviously compete in the BPL with players like Gold, Hughes, Dele Alli, Gretel, Wilson. The only thing missing is a right winger and I've already decided the right winger I want to bring in. You guys also know who he is but I'll talk about that later. But looking at my second team I really think we need to improve this team because we're in the Champions League, we need good backup plays. Looking at players like Smith, Elphick, Daniels and Richie, I really want to replace them. So in the comment section below do suggest me a new right back, obviously a backup one, a backup centre back as well, a backup left back as well as a backup right winger or a right midfielder. So go down there in the comment section and suggest me those players. Obviously, this is also the question of the day, so it will be there in the description as well. Also, guys, I also talked about signing Juan Manuel Iturbe in the last episode, and most of you guys want me to bring him back, so that's exactly what I will be doing. We have a lot of money right now, 35 and a half million, and our objectives are really difficult as well, so we'll need quality players like Iturbe to help us get through all these objectives. And because we can actually now train Iturbe, because he will be our permanent player, that's if we sign him, I think he will be like 82 or 83 by the end of the season and that will be ridiculous so I think it's a way would be an amazing signing but players like Riyad Mahrez or even Iñaki Williams would really help the squad so if Itube turns out to be a bit too expensive we'll probably go for Iñaki Williams if that deal doesn't go through we'll probably go for Riyad Mahrez I'm hoping that doesn't happen because I really want Itube to be at the club because he's a quality player and our chief executive thinks that this deal looks like it could happen so I'm submitting an offer of 12 million that is below his value I'm not sure if Roma will accept it but if they do they're idiots and obviously we will benefit from it I mean 12 million for Itube would be a bargain also guys we are going to be you know participating in a preseason tournament although i won't be playing a single game of this competition i just want the money from it and obviously we will be simming through all the games Hopefully we will be able to win that competition like how we did last season. But anyways guys, Roma have accepted the transfer offer for Juan Manuel Iturbe. 12 million for him, I think that's a freaking bargain. If we do manage to sign him, it would be absolutely ridiculous. I'm going to be offering 5 years, 90,000 euros per week and a crucial first team player. That's exactly what he's going to be. Hopefully he will accept it and he accepts it. So guys, we have made a fantastic signing. Juan Manuel de Turbe returns to the club for 12 million and we are left with 23 and a half million as well as there will be a lot of players leaving. So I think we should have like 25 to 26 million with a good chunk of wage budget left as well. We'll also be simming this game now against Galatasaray, obviously with my first team. And we won 5 nil. can you believe it? Wilson grabs two goals, Brutel with two goals, Afobe with a goal as well. It's ridiculous how good this team is. I mean, it's ridiculous. Dragoski will now be our first choice goalkeeper instead of Boduc. These are the players we're training. Obviously, now we can train Itobe as he's our permanent player. I would love to train his finishing, get that up to like high 70s. That would be ridiculous. And as you can see, some of the players did pretty well in training. In fact, only Itobe did well. He got a B. The rest of the players got a D. Also, guys, have a look at my short list right now. As I said, I want a new right back to sign a backup one, a new backup centre back, a new backup left back as well, and a backup right winger. So these are the players I'm looking to get. But guys, I haven't decided anything yet. I've just put them on scouting and on Obviously then we'll have a look at their overall and all that obviously some plays are already scouted but it's up to you guys so do suggest me plays down in the comment section below that's why this video is a bit short I just wanted to get all the input from you guys before I decide all the signings get you guys involved more in this series and as you can see these are the plays that I think that will really fit in the team Dominic Iofa as our right back Michael Keane as a centre back Alejandro Grimaldo as a left back and Munir El Haddadi as a right winger. All these players have really high potential. They could be fantastic players for us in the future. For now, they'll provide a lot of squad depth, especially players like Munir, who are very versatile and can play on the left hand side and even a striker. So I think these players would be really awesome. But guys, do let me know which players you guys want me to sign in the comment section below. And as you can see, in the preseason tournament, we have played one game, one win, and a goal difference of five. Obviously, we annihilated Galatasaray. Right. It was just ridiculous, but that's pretty much it for today's episode. I really hope you guys are excited for season 2 And if you guys are just go ahead and drop a like on this video Also subscribe if you haven't subscribed already and follow me on Twitter to stay updated with the channel And I'll see you guys soon with another video of this series